Hey folks, Multi here. Um, you may notice that my hair is a little shorter here. That's because I actually gave myself a haircut earlier when I was taking a shower. Um, uh, the thing is, I, I don't know if I mentioned this officially yet, but in case I haven't yet, um, for the past uh, year, or actually year, I think like since the beginning of 2022, um, I've been kind of styling my own hair basically, and what I did was I basically just grew out like a, a, a mullet essentially. And it, it got, my hair in the back got so long that I've had to tie it up actually for ever since November last year. And uh, yeah, basically all I did was I just uh, just left my, my uh, back hair alone. And for my front and side hair, I just kind of trim it to keep it out of my eyes. So like my uh, sideburns and my bangs, basically I just keep those trims set there out of my eyes. That's all I've been doing essentially for the past uh, year or so. And I can do that easily by myself without going to a barber shop. So I have. So last time I went to a barber shop was uh, May, 2021. So two years ago, that was the last time I went to like actually a professional to get my hair cut. And ever since then, I've been cutting my own hair. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty nice actually. It's very beneficial. I save money, and it's just very simple, you know. But yeah, I just trimmed my hair, my sideburns basically a few years, a few hours ago. And you know what? I don't look too bad for someone who does their own haircuts. But uh, anyways, that's not what this vlog is about. It's actually about my uh, Xbox. This is my OG Xbox, as you can see. Now on Twitter, a few days ago, I shared uh, some pictures of the uh, mainly, well yeah, the motherboard itself, but also like the, uh, um, just the, I put a lot of focus on the power board because I was concerned about, you know, some white substance I saw on it. And, uh, anyways, better explain, I might as well just open the console now. Um, I did, I actually opened it, like, a couple weeks ago when I shared those video, uh, shared those pictures on Twitter. Um, but I kind of, like, shoddily put it back together, because, like, I wanted to continue the process later. But as you can see, like, I didn't really do a good job putting it back together. And I actually didn't even screw anything down, so basically I can just kind of take everything apart on it quickly. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm using my work phone to record this, so uh, it's not, and it cannot zoom in apparently, so this is the closest I can possibly get to it. Well, I guess I could just put it straight up over the console and you can just look straight down on it as I open it. Might be a better, better look, it's much closer. So anyways, yeah, I didn't screw anything back down. Um, this is just, yeah, so it just comes right off. Um, it looks pretty good on the shell casing, at least on the inside there. Um, so we'll move that out of the way. At least I don't have to clean the shell part. But yeah, since I didn't screw anything down, it d doesn't. It didn't come back together properly. So uh, anyways, if you haven't seen the inside of an original Xbox, here it is. This is the, the DVD drive itself. Um, and this is the, the hard drive. I don't know how many, how, like what the actual size is, like where you can see it. It's a Seagate brand. Yeah, I'm not actually sure like how you're supposed to like where it says how much is space is on there officially, but uh, like you see it, like it just says 16 HDS. Is that 16 megabytes, 16 gigabytes? Like it's yeah, it just says 16 HDS, 63 sect. Yeah, I don't know where it says that honestly. So yeah, it's just kind of we're kind of shit out of luck on knowing that. But uh, anyways, we're going to take everything back apart real quick so I can kind of show all the stuff I need to. You just kind of have to like pull, pull shit out basically. But uh, I don't know, like the thing is, I think this is, this is actually usable. It's not as bad as I thought it was. So I can disconnect the, so there's the hard drive there. It's very fragile so you gotta be careful, like a lot of stuff you find in these consoles is kind of fragile. So now we can take the DVD drive out. Wait, actually this part comes out first, I think. Yeah. And then you gotta kind of doing this in a hurry because I don't want to take too long doing this crap. I don't want this video to turn out too long. I mean, this is a 30 FPS video, so it won't take up too much space. But uh, anyways, so we take off this part, the, the hard drive bay. You can kind of see, like, so directly under the hard drive itself is the power board right here. And, uh... What I pointed out in that picture was like all this uh, white gunk. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the videos on or the pictures on screen right now to show it. But basically, 
Um, I saw this and I thought it was battery acid or or as or just some leaked acid from the capacitors. But apparently, this is like some sort of adhesive that they apply at at the factory where it was originally uh, manufactured. And this is like to keep the parts from moving moving too much or something. So I was heavily mistaken on that. And really, the only issue with this console is the clock capacitor itself. So we're going to hopefully I can remove the DB drive now. I don't know. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm still attached. The problem is it's still attached to the motherboard. I don't know why I even bothered to attach it to the there because I'm gonna have to take it back out. It's kind of pointless to. Oh well, I guess I could take it out of the bay itself. Okay. Set those aside. Yeah, you just gotta be very careful with these things. Or like, well, I could pull it, pull this, pull it out of this loop here. The I can't even, can't even see this shit here. Oh, I guess it'd help if I turn the light. Duh. It's very bright, but uh, you'll have to do. So I need to pull this part out, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, I did a terrible job putting this back together when I... But it was only intended to be like just temporary until... I do, really don't like pushing down the motherboard, I really don't. But that's what I gotta do. There we go, okay. So there's the DVD drive itself. that aside. Someone's gonna be yelling in the comments like, dude, don't do don't do this, don't do that. This is, uh, I'm sorry, okay, this is my I mean this this Xbox, I was planning to replace it anyway, so if I do screw up something, it's it's not a big deal. You gotta try you gotta start somewhere with this whole process. So but like I don't know though, because like there there appears to be like multiple capacitors that are effed up here. Like I can see corrosion on this one here and this one. But the main culprit is this one down here. Well, I don't know if you can see it right now. I think we're supposed to pull out the mother, or the power board now. But that's got to be unplugged from the motherboard as well. I guess normally you would have this, the motherboard be screwed down, so that's why it's kind of just iffy. Okay, we pull up the, yeah, so there's the power board. Here we can get another look at the stuff on here, the gunk. So I think it will focus properly. I don't know if it will or not. Yeah, so this is like supposedly like some adhesive supposed to keep the parts from moving basically. But I don't know, I can still see... Um, like maybe some of them are protected by the adhesive and that prevents them from corroding too much. I don't know. I mean, there's still a lot of dust in here. I can see dust bunnies all over it, so we'll, we'll be removing those. Okay, and then we got the motherboard itself. Well, I guess I could pull out the fan as well. Yeah, mind you, I got this Xbox. This is a reminder. I got this Xbox from uh, Amazon's refurbished or renewed services, whatever they call it. And, uh, now, I did get this back in 2019, so you could make the argument that I, uh, you know, that, that all this stuff is from my home, basically, so, um, it's not the same as, like, when you just get a, when you just got a console from DK Oldies, and it looks this way, so... Yeah, I cannot make the... can't exactly complain too much, since I didn't bother to open the console when I first originally got it. So right now I'm trying to unplug the controller ports, basically. So, now... should be able to... 
It's very difficult getting the motherboard out. It really is. Okay, there it is. Oh. Okay. So, this is the motherboard. It's very, very dusty, so uh, there's that. But, noticeably, this spot right here is not as dusty. Like you can see right here, there's a little discoloration here instead of dust. That's not actually clean, that is the uh, corrosion. And the culprit is this, ugh, it's really... Uh, trying to get focused properly. Yeah, this camera sucks at uh, properly adjust. Yeah, it's not going to focus properly because this camera is shit. But basically, yeah, the culprit is this, uh, the black one right here. This is the uh, clock capacitor. And it has uh, corroded all around here on the motherboard. And uh, that is why, and that's the issue with most uh, Xboxes, is that uh, these clock capacitors are prone to... Uh, uh, swelling and uh, breaking down essentially over time and uh, what will happen is it will spread a bunch of uh, acid around and it could potentially damage the components that are around it so you have to basically get that shit removed and then even replace it if you can but the problem is I don't have a replacement capacitor and I can't uh, I don't have soldering equipment so all I can do is basically just remove it for now and if the console still works after that, basically that's just how it is for now. And then I'll have to um, get the um, get a new capacitor installed at some point. I don't know. But the problem is, like, there's these other ones that are that are kind of screwed up too. Like these two there, I can see corrosion and rust on these two. I don't know if that's rust or corrosion or both or whatever. But yeah, this one definitely has to go. So. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm thinking of just using scissors to cut it out. Can I? Or can I just, like, grab some pliers and yank it out? I'll probably do that. It's probably not a good idea. I'm probably going to fuck up the motherboard, but uh, I don't know what else to do. Because I don't have any other way to remove that damn thing. i get my tools and equipment out to do this properly. Let's see if I can just pull it out. It's probably... Uh, okay, here we go. So let's pull this one out. I really don't want to touch it, but the thing is really again. This is probably a bad idea. Got it. See that shit? Again, if I can focus, that'd be nice. Damn, this camera sucks. It really does. But uh, believe me, it looks like it looks really bad. Oh my god. There's our capacitor out but the problem is it left the prong basically I don't know if that's a problem or not it, it will make a problem to clean the clean and clean in that area I was thinking of using isopropyl alcohol that's basically what I'm gonna have to do I kind of don't want that part in there but I think it, it. I think it's just stuck in there since I can't. I don't have the soldering equipment to remove it properly. So it is what it is. Okay, so here's a better look at it. Uh, so this is what the result was of me pulling out the capacitor. It's a. Uh, you can just. But hopefully this means that it won't be spreading any more of the corrosion around. And there's the capacitor itself. Probably not dangerous to touch per se, but still I want to be careful. So it looks like on the bottom. It's like a little prong that that kind of sticks into it when you're Eh, I don't know how to do this properly. Yeah, this camera really sucks, so 
It's kind of... And there's also the GP, the CPU and the GPU itself. You also got to replace the thermal paste, but I don't have any thermal paste anyway, so it's not like I can do anything about that. But yeah, you can see the discoloration around the area where the motherboard, where the clock capacitor was, and there's the rest of the motherboard itself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start cleaning this now. Okay, isopropyl alcohol, toothpaste, or toothbrush, and uh, some canned air. So that's what we're going to use here. Okay, now time for the alcohol. Don't forget to brush daily. Okay, so here it is again after running the the isopropyl alcohol through and dusting it. It looks uh, not amazing, but uh, better than before at least. There's no... the discoloration's gone. And the uh, nice thing is uh, rubbing alcohol doesn't stain anything. So, uh, well, it evaporates pretty fast, so it's, it's good for cleaning basically. But these two capacitors are the main other issue I have. is like wonder... I wonder what, which one these are and like what they do. I don't know, because I don't know all the components, like what, what each one does, so it's hard to hard to say like how much damage these could possibly do. So yeah. Okay. I have reassembled the console and plugged it in, back into the wall and the uh, TV itself. So let's see if it works. Well, here goes nothing. If I put a disc in or not, did I? Yep, okay, so sure enough, it's having me set the time. I'm not even going to bother with that anymore because it's just going to ask for this every single time the console is, uh, you know, plugged in and out, basically. So, yeah, Xbox is working fine now at this point. Just need to, if I can just get the clock capacitor replaced, get a new one in there at some point then I think we'll be all good, basically. Because otherwise, I mean, I'm not, I'm just, I'm still not sure about those three other capacitors in there that have issues, but, uh, I mean, yeah, otherwise the console works fine, so uh, we'll just play it by ear, I guess. Well, that was my first time performing maintenance on a console. I mean, all I did was just yank out the capacitor, but that's about it, so. Anyways, folks, uh, that's it for today. This has been May 23rd. Tuesday, and I will see you folks later. Bye. 3.39, that's the gas prices over here. Anyways, I'm walking to pick and save. I need to do a, I need to buy some water and some uh, paper towels. That's the whole reason I walked here. So, good little excuse to get some exercise, I guess. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty beautiful day too. It's been a long time since I've done a walk like this. I don't think I did a single walk actually last year in 2022. So I need to get back on that this year, and this is a good time to do it. Yeah, water, paper towels is all I came here for, so it's enough I can just walk.